Hi, and welcome to my video about how to best use a Dimplex Quantum RF series. The difference between the RF series and the usual quantums, uh, Quantum 125, QM125, QM100, QM70, QM50 and the QM150, is these ones have the letters RF after their model number. So that would be the QM150RF, the QM125RF, the QM100RF, the QM70RF, and the QM050RF. The easy way to identify the difference between these models is the flap at the top. As you can see, this flap doesn't have a little window in it. The ones with the window in it are not the RF series. This one here is a Quantum 125 None RF, so it doesn't have the letters RF at the end. As you can see, it has a little window in the flap, so it is different. The main difference of these heaters between the None RF and the RF versions is the time and temperature is locked together on an RF series. So if you turn an RF series up or down, the next day the temperature will revert back to what it's programmed to be. So I can go through and show you how the user interface is different to the other videos that I have based on the QM None RF version. First of all, we need to turn the heater on. So we need at the bottom right are two switches. One supplies the off-peak electricity to charge up the bricks and the other one runs the user interface, thermostat, programmer, room thermostat, etc. Now that it's turned on, it shall boot up. So we need to lift the flap. Now this one hasn't been set up already, so it's still got a plastic film. It's daylight saving rule is the first question as it's going to be commissioned. So to do that, you just press that and then it enters into the date and time. So it's the 28th of September 2021 and the time is 15.55, which is correct. So to set that, you just jump through and then you can enable the sound for each right press or have it disabled so I'll enable it. Okay so the factory setting coming out the factory is set to user timer at 21 degrees. So there's different ways we can have this. We can have it on different modes. So we press the menu button and we go down to modes. Timer mode and then home all day out all day or away. I'll go through these in different videos. Today we'll focus on home all day. Home all day, if you press select you'll get a nice big tick. There we go. So we've now selected home all day. But what does that mean? Menu, modes, timer mode, home all day. And we'll go to modify or preview if you just want to have a look. But we're going to modify and change it. So it's set on Tuesday, because today is Tuesday, and it has four periods, periods one to four. Now, out of the factory, period one is the only one that's active. And that's set from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. at 21 degrees. 21 degrees is the government recommended temperature for a lounge and bedroom is 18. So for the purposes of this test we're just going to change it down to 18. Okay so that's now set for 18 degrees from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. Now we've pressed save we've moved to period 2 which as you can see isn't used because it's set from 9 p.m. to 9 p.m. at 21 degrees. Period 3 the same period four, the same. 
So the only period that's being used is period one, from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. Now we move over to Wednesday. As you can see, it's set to 21. So if you turned it down to 18 on a Wednesday, the next day, Thursday, it would go back to 21. So to maintain an 18 degree temperature, we have to change it. But once it's set up, that's okay. Now we don't need periods two to four, so we can skip those. And then we go to Thursday. Period one, 21 degrees, so we go down and then change it to 18. And then skip the three periods, so we don't need period two, three or four. And then go scroll through for Friday, change it to 18 from 21. And then skip the three periods we don't need. And then Saturday, bring it down to 18. From 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. And then period two to four, skip. And then Sunday, bring it to 18. And then skip the three periods we don't need. And then Period four we don't need. And then Monday, bring it down to 18. And then skip the three periods. We should get to Tuesday when it should be 18, because we started on Tuesday and there it is, 18. So that's how to reprogram your Dimplex Quantum RF series model. If your user interface or screen doesn't look anything like this, please check out the other videos in this playlist. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.